Hi everybody, my name is Stuart Clark. I'm a developer advocate here with Cisco Devna. And this session is how Tab9 helps developers and how it can easily adopt new Cisco SDKs and APIs. I'm really grateful to be joined today by Brandon, who is from Tab9. Hey Brandon, thanks for joining us at DevNet Create. Likewise, Stuart, thank you so much for having me. And uh, we'll go to the fun story how you got here, but great to be here and great to uh, get to spend some more time with the uh, whole Cisco world. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, it's, good. Um, tell, why don't you tell us about Tab9 and what you do at Tab9? Sure, sure. So uh, I am uh, uh, lead up uh, dev engagement and biz dev just to help ecosystems and help developers connect what uh, what they're doing, the, the millions of developers using Tab9 to the platforms they love. And so being uber simple, that's obviously what we're doing. Um, context wise, probably is useful if you're not a Tab9 user. Uh, tab nine is going to feel like to developers like autocomplete in the ID of choice, whichever ID you want. The difference is that uh, tab nine behind the scenes is a complex machine learning model that has been trained on uh, fully permissive open source code and then trains also on your local code. And so uh, while tab nine feels like autocomplete, it's going to knock out big chunks of code. It's going to be um, I think the best feedback we usually get is like, whoa, my goodness, Tab9 is reading my mind, uh, which is awesome. That's what we want to do. So our goal here is, is, is pretty simple, is take the same practices that we've seen in uh, a bunch of other developers uh, use it generally and apply it to a specific use case, which is the adoption of uh, Cisco's SDKs and APIs. And the need is just as Cisco moves quickly, uh, how do you as a developer pick those best practices up and how do you do it in code time, right? So how does it show up? Not, and I go out and look at docs, which you should, you should, <laughs> but how do I get that recommendation best practice while I'm writing the code such that it really helps you become a better programmer? And that's the vision of tab nine that we've been doing about five years. And uh, we're excited sort of on this journey then to be really specific on how we can make that uh, feel great for Cisco. And how we got here, like, I'm not sure it's Stuart, you can tell us how we got here because you're the one that started us off. Yeah, thank you. It, and it's great. And I've been a Tab9 user for, for, for nearly two years now. And writing a lot of um, code around Cisco's APIs, I found how Tab9 has you know, really helped me write a lot better code, a lot more cleaner code. And it also, you know, as you're starting to use it every day, as, as you said, it becomes more intuitive and it's learning what you're you know, doing, the patterns that you're doing with, with, with certain APIs. So. It certainly helped write my code. If you've seen any of the demos in the past of DevNet Create, or you've seen any of the live stuff that we've done with with DevNet, you'll have seen you know it's seen it in action in my in my IDE. Um, so I tell you what, why don't we um, why don't we jump into a demo now, and we'll um, and I'll start doing some coding with um, and show you how to, how I'm using Tab Nine in my environment. Perfect. Nothing okay. more fun than that. Right. Let's just bring up the terminal, and then we'll jump into the demo. Sounds great. Thanks, Brandon. So we're going to jump into a demo side now and look at um, tab nine and, and how I'm using it today within uh, my environment. As you can see, I'm using uh, VS Code as my, um, as my IDE, IDE, of, IDE of choice. And I've just created a quick folder um, just called SD1 underscore SDK. Uh, and this is a Python file in a folder. And you can see here on my screen that I've got no code um, at, at all written. Um, the Python SDK um, is already installed, and I've just installed this from pip as it's available on, on PyPy. It's the um, Python underscore Victala SDK for, for SD1. And so I've already pre-installed that in the background. This is an SDK with SD1, which I've been using for quite a while now, I'd say, you know, over a year. So Tab9 has had the ability to see how I've been writing code and some of the things that I've been doing with this, you know, historically for the last... Yeah, you know, in demonstrations and as part of my everyday job on DevNet writing code and, and helping community um, with the SD1 APIs using the using the SDK. So what I've done is I don't actually have Tab9 installed right now. I've actually just quickly uninstalled this um, um, from my um, from the you know the pieces and bits and that I have installed within in VS Code and all the extensions, etc. So I want to show you what this looks like when I'm 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 you know not actually you know using it. So if I just go through some of like you know a basic example here of using um, the SDK just for um, a quick example, and this would be getting an um, idea of getting and using the API with SD1 
um, via the SDK um, to authenticate um, with uh, vManage and then to, you know, as, essentially then pour some details back from the vManage fabric across all of the devices connected into this. So typically, you know, with, with Python, I just want to, you know, start importing this. Um, and as you see, you know, we start writing the, uh, the, the from here. And then I want to start, you know, bringing this in here. And you'll see I'm not the fastest type in the, in the, way, in the world by any such means. Um, but then I'm starting to bring in, um, you know, v, vManage. And you can see, you know, here I am just, you know, typing this away. And I know this API, you know, fairly well. Um, um, so, so I'm making typos as I'm, I'm actually going on. Um, so yeah, I'm just you know bringing this in, and you can see I get kind of a few little hints um, from um, you know from VS Code already, but um, it's nothing that's you know actually helping me speed up. Um, I think I've spelled authentication on there. Authentication. Nothing that's actually you know helping me. Um, you know, a, a, a kind of a great deal. It's not. It's not making me. You know, write code any sort of. You know, quicker. That's for sure. Um, and so, you know, I'm just going through some of the the, the steps and things to 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 be able to do this. Um, and right now, I'm just you know setting up my um, you know environment to import the necessary requirements here um, uh, to actually you know um, start. Um, to start um, working with um, the, um, you know, the API. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit, a little bit of help here. Um, let's just save this as I go along and then import. Um, so we've done, oops, sorry, missed a section there. Um, miss this off. And then we start to sort of, you know, bring in the, um, bring in the, you know, some of the bits and pieces here, um, which are, included within you know the SDK so I'm starting to bring in um, you know the um, in environment that kind of stuff in into into the workflow here so let's just do this and then uh, what I need to do is uh, have caps lock on v manage and then underscore host so you can see here that I'm you know uh, typing along getting on fine but uh, you know, progress is progress is a little slow. And if I was, you know, new to using this, I'd be going back and forth into, you know, the documentation um, a little bit. So let's see the advantages now of, of moving this forward. And then if I have um, tab nine in here, what's you know going to be the difference and how how this is helping me? So I'm using um, a Mac and uh, like I said, we um, VS Code. It's my um, my, my, my choice here. So I just press um, Command Shift and X, I think is a shortcut. And then here we go to just install tab tab nine. Whoops, there you go, tab nine, there we go. So simple, you know, just install it onto here and it comes, you know, straight into into the extension and close, close my extensions off now. And then, you know, once we've downloaded it, you get all of the information um, from, from the plugin and the, all the extension information here. You know of 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 how do you can start using you know, tab nine you know within your environment some great tips and tricks in here bits and pieces and stuff so let's just uh, close close that out go back to the go back to the code and then just close that so I've got a bit more bit more space and you see tab nine is now running as well down down here in in the in the in the bottom space and stuff and we'll we'll explore that in just a second and how that's installed. But now let's carry on. So if I type in here vManage, you can start to see um, that there is some, oops, helps if I type vManage right. You can start to see some pieces here and we can start to see, you know, tab nine starting to include this. And you can see here from this little, uh, the wrench sign and the, the icon for tab nine and tab nine is saying, you know, these are the things that I think you're gonna type based on, you know, historically, you know what you've been um, writing on from what I've learned. So the next step what we do in the SDK is we'd specify our our, um, our username. You can see tab nine is saying you know from past past experience of of you using this this SDK with the API, 
you know, these are things that you've commonly typed. And, and we are, you know, we are bang on the money here where, you know, we start to look at, uh, you know, adding the actual um, uh, um, username in here. And you can see it's fully complete in this. So instead of having to type this out like I did the last line, I simply just, you know, click and it, it adds the, the rest of the thing. You know, we specified here on line six with the vManage host, and this is going to pull this information in from um, from a YAML file. I'm using a, a YAML file in the background to pass the uh, you know the, the the details from from this particular piece of code. But then you know the next time we've done the host, we've done the username. So what would be next? Well, then you know we would have the uh, we would have the password. And hey presto, this is you know starting to um, you know help us out a great deal here with. You know, this is what, you know, you've used, you know, historically in the past. Then um, typically I will be doing a, um, a, a pretty print and setting up um, the, um, the indentation, which will come next in here. So I can just go ahead, tab 9 says, oh, yeah, we're going to do um, pretty print. I'm going to do equals um, P print again, and it's going to start to bring this out. And you can see that it gave me a couple of options there because there is a couple of options that we're coming on here and VS Code is, um, tab nine is going to say, well, you know, which one do you want to use? So I wanted actually to use this one. Now I need to set up sort of indentation. Again, tab nine is jumping in here saying, yep, indentation. What am I going to specify that to? It's never going to say what indentation you've used to is going to happen because at different, different styles of code and on different examples I might use and I might be using you know a different form of indentate or different uh, length of indentation based on how much I'm going to um, be pushing out here but you can see already how you know it's starting to bring out loads of new um, um, features here and make actually writing a lot quicker again here I'm going through the authentication and we're starting to it's starting to help me out now this is where you start to oh, I need to get a I made a mistake there. It should be a there you go. Authentication. Let me just go back here. Now we start to see this really starting to power up because we've typed all of these lines here on six, seven, eight, and nine. We're pulling all the information in from the SDK now and past history from my my um, previous experience of of working with this, and I'm able to simply just click here, right here, and it fills out all of that information for me. So this will be the next step here in our authentication here. We've created the shortcut here for auth. We've got now um, host, vManage, username. Do have to put a little bit of um, extra work into here, but this then completes itself. So you can see how much quicker this was for me to write code, how much quicker this was for me to start using um, the, the SDK. But as I've been saying throughout this, you know, this is a lot of this has been built up from from my experience. Now I'm working with another um, two folks on my team, the other two people on our team, uh, Quinn, the, 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 the awesome developer advocate on our team, and Chris, great developer advocates. They're also doing work with SD WAN, and they haven't done as much work with SD WAN as you know as as I have. Um, and they're setting up new sandboxes for things like SASE and integration of SD WAN with ACI which is, you know, the things that uh, Quinn and both um, Chris advocate for. Um, they want to start using this as well. So can I help them? Can Tab9 help them? Well, yeah, absolutely we can, because what I can do is I can actually, and I have done is I've created a team and I've called it the DevNet DAs team. By creating this team, I can share all of my experience and all of what Tab9 has learned about using the um, SDK and the API for SD1. I can share this with, with both Chris and Quinn, who have never used this before. So they would have a similar experience to me as what we saw when I used um, the, uh, the, the code there without having tab nine installed, going back and forth, you know, between the documentation, um, writing code from, you know, complete scratch without any assistance from tab nine. That's how they would get it. Now, if now that they're part of this group, they would automatically almost inherit everything that tab nine has learned about the SDK, about the API based on my experience and the intelligence which tab nine has. 
So this is how we can then start sharing this out there. So this makes really the adoption of both SDKs within our advocate team so much more quicker. And this is where we start to see the real power of, you know, having this team within tab nine. And I'm only sharing this with the people I want to share this with. They're the only people who can get this information because they are in this team. And I can take people in and out of that team as I, as I see fit. I can add more people to that team within you know, our developer advocacy team. There we go. That was the demo. You've seen how I'm using tab nine within my, my VS code using the um, SDK for, for SD1. It's, um, it's just so impressive to use. It's so easy to use. So before you go, Brandon, I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Of course. What is the one innovation that you've created or you wanted to create since since the pandemic? Um, so I'm blessed to have three awesome children, but in the pandemic, that means they're home and we are doing a whole lot of uh, home homework. So uh, the part that I automated, but it was okay, not awesome, was like, hey, the copying, the uploading of all of their files into all the different um, programs that our teachers use. So uh, I, I think I got a good appreciation of just how tech ed is still got plenty of direction, d distance to go and just built basic workflow because copying, uploading into all the right places with their homework was, uh, yeah, so got that done. Uh, that was my little innovation. Uh, it still has a long way to go, and there's plenty of work in that space, but um, I'm sure mine is not too different from a number of other parents that are out there. That's awesome, buddy. No, and if you're anything like me, you know, the uh, the SLA that my, my wife has and, you know, our, our son has to come and fix the internet when it goes down or anything that's broken, you know, it's uh, it's pretty tight, and I think I'm in for them some SLA credits right now. <laughs> you're, yes, you're going to go need it back and make sure that you uh, you bank a few more. So you're going to need them in the future. It's a it's a job that's never done. Brandon, I'd, I'd really like to thank you for joining us here at DevNet Create this year. Um, and go go and check out Tab Nine. It's uh, you know it's really really awesome. Thank you again, Brandon. I hope everyone can stick around for the rest of uh, the rest of the sessions coming up now at DevNet Create. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for thanks for having me. Look forward to it. Take care now. Cheers.